Hello again, YouTubers. I'm with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our SpongeBob Comics issue number 40 review video. All right, so um, we haven't had a new video for a couple, almost a week actually. So um, I'm actually making this video on Saturday. Um, this uh, no, sorry, January 24th, I think. Yeah, it's January 24th, and um, this video should go live on Monday, January 26th. Um, the next video uh, that has me talking in it is going to feature the, uh, the, new, the movie novelization that we've uh, showed you in the uh, uh, this one. Yeah, we're going to be uh, doing uh, an overview of this book um, and our next uh, actual video, not trailer. And, um, yeah, that one will have, obviously, will have spoilers, so, you know, if you're not interested in spoilers, then, um, don't watch that, but, um, until you watch the movie. But if you're interested in knowing the entire plot of the story, then that video is for you. Alright, so, um, today's video is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual comic reviews because, you know, we're gonna dive right in, we're gonna do it real quickly, because, firstly, the camera battery is running out. Second... I don't want to take up too much of, you, uh, of your time. So, anyways, we have a quick look at the cover. Panicky Volcano issue. Very cool. This issue is for January 2015. Uh, printed in Beastview, Quebec, Canada. December 29th. So, um, here is the uh, content. content. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can actually see what the, what the words are. Um, but I just want to zoom in just in case. Um, because, you know, when I'm looking through the, uh, the viewfinder, um, well, it seems pretty small, but, you know, I'm recording this in 720, uh, p. so. Anyways, we have Guest to Pest by Scott Roberts. So, let's take a look. So, we have a tornado, wow. And he wipes away Patrick's house. Alright, so. The next day. So, uh, SpongeBob's really um, sad for Patrick that he his house got blown away, and it turns out that <laughs> uh, Patrick ate everything in SpongeBob's fridge. And Gary doesn't seem too happy about that. Oh yeah, and I uh, apologize if you can hear construction noise again in the background. You know, it's really annoying, but um, I can't do anything about it. So, yeah, Patrick has a nightmare, and it was only a dream. And he was being chased by a doorknob. So, you know, this kind of reminds me of um, uh, that episode. Um, I forgot the name. Um, where Squidward bunks over at SpongeBob because he kind of was unemployed because he quit. Um, oh yes, that episode is called "Can You Spare a Dime" um, from season three, and that one, um, yeah, Squidward quit because Mr. Krabs accused Squidward of stealing his first dime. So yeah. You guys should go watch that. I'm pretty sure you, uh, most of you have seen that episode at least once. But, um, well, you know, it's good to, to watch it again. Alright, so anyways, back to the comic here. Um, Patrick's looking for a new house. Uh, but, uh, yeah. and Oh, you want it for free? Huh? Why does everyone think artists don't need to be paid? Well, actually, um... <laughs> Actually, it depends on what kind of artist you want, but, uh, I mean, artist you are. I mean, of course, if you're a comic artist or animation artist, you definitely need to be paid. But, um, you know, if you're like those kind of paintings people, it takes a, it takes a quite a bit of time, right? <laughs> Alright, oh, it's just one page. <laughs> Alright, then we have 
face hit SpongeBob and just an un unlucky guy and a rock from the volcano splashes into the ocean and lands right on Patrick. It's perfect SpongeBob, just the way I like it, flat on the bottom. Yep, so that's a great conclusion. So, Floatsome and Jansom Ocean Facts Hydrothermal Deep Sea Vents by Maris Wicks. So, here we look at the Pacific Ocean. Um, I'm not going to read out everything because, you know, it takes up a lot of time. And, um, yeah, so there was an entire. There, was, there are entire ecosystems thriving around a hydrothermal vent. So you can see there, there's a fish, there's a shrimp, there's the two worms, clams, octopus, and crabs, and mussels. So seawater, crust, liquid hot magma, black smoker. Alright, so next up we have kick the can now. Um, hop over the can, yay. No, 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 you boneheads. The game is kick the can. Oh no, school, we never do that. Yeah, there could be serious re-concussions involved. Stand aside and let me show you, and let me show you too how it's done. Kick the can. So it kicks the can, and guess what? Rawr. It's a giant um, angler fish with um, uh, a can instead of a dingle bobber. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you, if you actually uh, remember... Uh, if you actually did watch one of our previous Spongebob comic reviews, there was one Floatsome and Jetsum Ocean Facts about um, anglerfish. I believe that was from issue 37, uh, uh, not Daydreams and Nightmares, yeah, from issue 37. And yeah, they called that um, light thingy that hangs from the anglerfish a dingle bopper. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's cute, but anyways. So whatever you do, never kick the can. The Next up we have Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. Yeah, and um, the big catch. So, so I'm just going to run through this. And normally I catch and release, but I have to keep this one. <laughs> yeah, because it's on himself. Um, cute pet. Do you like my new pet jellyfish? What pet jellyfish? It's me. Ta-da. Wow. So now we have a lovable pinup comic. And uh, carefully remove the next two pages if you want to hang out Patrick and Spongebob's volcanic journey. So really, really cool. This is actually titled Magma Morons. Um, so, what was Mr. Krabs? Okay, actually I'm not going to read this. So you guys can uh, pause and read it. So, they make the uh, way up the volcano. And then they climb up the volcano and ask about the cake. We're gonna ask about a cake, and they see Mr. Krabs up in the volcano using it as a hot springs. I don't know how crabs can actually use volcano uh, magma or lava as um, no, actually magma, I think. No, it's lava. Yeah, lava um, as hot springs. I mean, like, oh, wise man, can you tell us the meaning of life? I'm gonna get mean and take your life if you don't get off this volcano. I just remember Mr. Krab Mr. Krabs likes to take private lava baths on this volcano. I just remember beach cake is delicious, except when wet. <laughs> oh yeah. So story by Cass, uh, figures by Vince D. Porter, and these three other great people. So lovable pinup comic. Same thing there. Okay, formula none. So looks like we are out of ingredient thirty-seven, and I can't believe their flies are being used as an ingredient. By the way, jellyfish. Celery, okay, fine. Celery is okay, but anemones. I mean, I don't even know what the thing is beside the jellyfish. Is it a hat or something? <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, say no more. I head straight to the grocery store for reinforcements. Don't bother, the lad. I'll use this artificial cow I bought last year. So, you can mess with the Krabby Patty formula. Quit shivering your timbers, boy. I do this all the time. No. <laughs> yeah, and everything is the same thing. Alright, this is madness. Spongebob, no one notices if you change one ingredient, but you're changing all of them. It's good business, lad. Artificial ingredients are cheaper. Okay. I like this uh, drawing on Mr. Krabs. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, Spongebob Squarepants. For shame. Krabby Patty, what are you doing here? I'm here to change your evil ways before it's too late. 
Behold, a future aristocrat is a poor beggar on the streets. Uh, his business in ruins due to substandard product. No, this little guy is sick in the hospital. The cause? Artificial ingredients, Plankton. Seriously? Well, I mean, kind of deserves it because he stole the Krabby Patty. I mean, Mr. Krabs probably wouldn't let him buy, uh, purchase a Krabby Patty, right? And this is your fate. Book him offices for fraud. No, I won't let that happen. I'm going to save the Krabby Patty. Yeah, that reminds me of a... Uh, I don't know why he's kind of focused. Yeah. Reminds me of the new SpongeBob app, Sponge on the Run, available for iOS and Android devices right now. If you're interested in that, you can actually click the link below. It'll take you to the app page. Anyways, he screams, Attention, Krusty Krab customers! The Krabby Patty formula has been compromised. What? I do, I do not, I repeat, do not panic. Please leave in a calm and orderly manner. What's going on in your lad? You drive away customers. You drove them away with artificial ingredients. Oh, is that all? Phew. And until you change your formula back, Squidward and I are going on strike. That's ridiculous, Squidward. Don't care about the formula, do you, Mr. Squidward? No, but I am incredibly lazy <laughs> on strike. Okay, soon. Ah, uh, this is the life. That's the spirit, Squidward. Fight the par. Two, four, six, eight. Artificial should artificial ingredients should not be ate. <laughs> wow, <laughs> cool. Well, I certainly don't want to eat at a place with such silly employees. It's working, Squidward. People are on our side. Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. And then do your roost, SpongeBob. I can run. I can run the Krusty Krab fine without you. Slam. And Mr. Krabs panics. What am I gonna do? I haven't a customer all day. It ain't fair. I'm just trying to make a living. There's nothing wrong with the new formula. So Mr. Krabs tries one, chews it, and well, he throws it in the trash. I thought that was the pinchomatic thing that would take and that would save uh, any Krabby Patty. You know, any f unate Krabby, un uneaten Krabby Patty, just like the one in I Had an Accident in season three. Uh, but you had to watch the episode to know it more. You win, lad. Let's negotiate. Here you go, man. One Krabby Patty with all natural ingredients. And all it took was a 50-person cut. 50% cut in our paychecks. I hate you. <laughs> okay, then we have SpongeBob's Toe Jam by David DeGrand. Okay, this one I'm just going to speed through it because it's already 12 minutes. So he drops the thing on his toe and it becomes a, well, it's swelling into a weird shape you might know as a starfish. Or at least Patrick. Alright, so. Hello there, Patrick and Spongebob. What can I do for you? This isn't Patrick, it's my swollen toe. That's your toe? Gross. Gross. I can remove it surgically, which is super quick, but really painful. And there's his toenail, by the way. No more pain, no more pain. <laughs> or you can put this ointment on it, which is pain free, and it will take a but it will take a few days to get rid of the swelling. No more pain, no more pain. No more pain, no more pain. Uh so the ointment then. <laughs> hey SpongeBob brought you some comic books. Thanks, Patrick. Come on in. My twin, my long lost twin, we have so much catching out to do. No Patrick, it's no time to waste. Let's go. Wait, Patrick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing like a brotherly game of cards or a brotherly Ferris wheel ride. Better up, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, check out the newest piece to my anger collection. Oops. And he jumps in on SpongeBob's toe. Wow. Ow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This whole time, I tried to tell you we're triplets. And well, SpongeBob just well collapses. <laughs> All right, so. Presenting the star of the show, a tale of showbiz and life in a row with a yellow dweeb and the ocean's worst clarinet player, with Patrick as the announcer. Plus, Patrick does stand up and bikini bottom snow day on sale in February from United Planning Pictures. So that's a quick look at issue number 41 coming out in uh, February. And on the back cover, to end off, we have SpongeBob in Flipper Follies by Sam Henderson. So, flip. And it doesn't come down. So he tries to use a broom and it falls on his head. And it's suddenly every Krabby Patty starts falling on his head. And he finds the original Patty. And flips it. And he outgrills it again. 
Or at least he doesn't find your original patty. He just picks up one and... Or maybe I think he did find the original one. And he flips it and he lands on Squidward's head and he laughs. Wow. Alright, so that is about it for Spongebob Comics number 40. Issue number 40. I mean, it's a... Uh, I mean, I can't believe it's already issue 40. You know, Spongebob Comics. Uh, it's released in February um, 2011. And, uh, well, had a really long run. Alright, so next video, Spongebob movie novelization featuring lots of spoilers from the movie. Coming up next, make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. If you haven't checked out our giveaways for our Spongebob, for, for items that we got in a Spongebob movie, uh, Mail Day, feature, uh, the DVD, the pilot square, uh, uh, square mini movie and the square shorts dvd we have three of that to give away as well as the spongebob junior novelization for the movie we have two of that to give away and that will be featured in the next video uh but for the dvd giveaway make sure to check out our previous um actual talking video we have the link to that in the description box below and uh, there are more instructions on that video thanks for watching keep it right here and there's more spongebob movie trailers i think coming up next if not then the next video coming out on friday uh january 30th will be uh for the junior novelization thanks for listening to me talk for the past 16 minutes i'll see you guys next time bye